this is the bandsaw. When you step up to the bandsaw, you always want to make sure that you check yourself first so that you don't have anything dangling off of your neck, that your sleeves are either pulled back or um, that they are tight against your wrist, and that your hair is pulled back. So you want to make sure it's in a ponytail, a low pony ponytail preferably if you have long hair. The second thing you want to do is you always want to make sure that your material is ready to be cut, which means you need to have a plan. Um, if I intended to cut this shape out right here, you can see that it would be a tight cut, um, which would cause my blade to bend. And if my blade were to bend, it is more likely to break. And so therefore I would do relief cuts. A relief cut would be a cut that I go up um, a short distance into the piece of wood um, in order to a couple different times through here so that when I was actually making the cut, these pieces would easily pop out as I was making it, less likely to cause my blade to bend. Um, if my blade were to bend and it does break, the first thing that I would want to make sure that I did after um, it broke is I would make sure that I turned it off. Um, I would unplug the machine so nobody else could um, start it while I was gone and then I'd go find the instructor so that they could do the repair on the machine and get a new blade on there. Um, because blades do sometimes break, you want to make sure before you get started that there isn't anybody standing to the right of the machine because if the blade does break, because of the direction that the blade turns in here, sometimes it can come out the edge of this door and then there would be a big blade hanging right here, which is where your face would be if you were standing there. So you don't want to stand to the right of a bandsaw when they're working. So I have my um, cut um, planned out. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that, that my guard is one-fourth of an inch above the piece of wood. So there is a little dial on the back here. It looks kind of like this one um, that you would twist. You would raise this up. You would put your piece of wood down. And then one-fourth of an inch, an easy way to think of one-fourth of an inch is that it is about the thickness of a pencil. So if I were to lay a pencil right there and then tighten that back in, um, it would be one-fourth of an inch. Now, the reason that we do that is it will help our finger from going into that space if we're making poor cuts or poor um, hand placement choices. So we want to make sure that um, we have the guard one-fourth of an inch away. Now, you do want to make sure that your fingers stay two inches away from that blade, so two inches, um, and that is going to help you from not injuring yourself. So I am now ready to go. Um, I will make sure that when I'm cutting that my fingers are never in line with that blade because if my wood were to split, what happens is my thumbs would go directly into that blade. So I want to make sure that we're not doing that. We'd have our hands off to the side. Then we would turn the machine on. We would simply make our cut um, as we need to. And then um, there's going to be debris on the table when you're done. You never reach out with your hand um, towards a live blade. Um, if there's debris, you would want to take um, your wood or a push stick and you can wipe it out of the way, but you never want to shove your hand in there because once you get in the habit of running your hand um, that direction, even if you're paying attention in the beginning, eventually you will not pay the same amount of attention as soon as you get comfortable with the machine, and that's generally when you get injuries. So you would want to make sure you take your piece of wood and if you need to remove the, the debris, use the piece of wood when you're doing it. That way if you accidentally hit something, you're hitting uh, you know, the wood and not your fingers. So when you're completely done making your cuts, um, you would turn off the machine and then it's always important to lower that guard back down um, in order to make the next person raise it up to the proper height. You also want to make sure that you don't walk away from a machine while the blade is still running because if somebody is not paying attention and they walk through and they run their hand across this, um, they still would get cut even though it is um, in the process of slowing down. So um, that is how we would use a um, bandsaw. Thank you.